devices that know their current location can provide many useful services. They can find resources, such as a nearby output device for displaying a video, or the nearest first aid kit in an emergency. They can guide visitors or the physically handicapped around shopping malls, museums, airports, and hospitals. They can track people and objects, letting doctors locate patients, staff, and equipment in a hospital, or letting parents monitor where their children are. And they can allow users to control objects in a virtual world by moving their own arms or bodies around in the real world. Cricket makes these services possible by providing an indoor location system that complements GPS, the global positioning system. GPS works outdoors, but not indoors, because building walls block the satellite signals on which GPS depends. Cricket works indoors by using inexpensive ceiling-mounted wireless beacons instead of satellites. The beacons periodically emit ultrasonic chirps and, at the same time, radio signals describing their location, the room they're in, and the coordinates in that room. A cricket listener uses the difference in the arrival times of the radio signal and the chirp to determine its distance from nearby beacons. As Alan moves around, his listener uses the information from the nearest beacon to tell him where he is. If a listener needs to know exactly where it is in a room, cricket can compute its coordinates by solving a system of equations involving the coordinates it hears from three or more beacons together with the distances it computes between itself and those beacons. Motion complicates this computation. Here, a yellow dot on the screen shows Alan's approximate location as he moves around a room. The numbers on the screen are the standard deviations of the constantly changing distance estimates to each of the room's beacons. When Alan is moving, these estimates vary too much to give a good fix on his location. However, if Alan puts his listener down, the standard deviations drop and Cricket can compute its position accurately. The Cricket team is currently experimenting with different adaptive algorithms to compute, both accurately and quickly, the location of objects in motion. It is also working on extending Cricket to act as an indoor compass.